Hey everyone, Sarah Wagstaff, uh, Head of Basketball. Oh wow, how it all started. Um, I guess my passion for the sport on the Open Day. I remember going to an Open Day in Essex where I was brought up and talking to all these different universities and you know Loughborough was the, the ambition and went to speak to the person at Loughborough about their basketball programme. Like I knew what course I wanted to do, I always wanted to teach. So it was either sport exercise or sport and PE. Um, and I went to their stall and I remember them not knowing anything about their basketball program and as soon as I went to the UIC stand at the mo that moment in time, like I just had this buzz of basketball was a thing in Cardiff and, and at UIC and I think that's where it really started. Um, and from there it then went to an open day um, with my dad where, this happened straight away, <laughs> um, an open day with my dad where I met Lucy actually and I met Lucy on the open day and I think from that moment on, onwards that personal touch really meant a lot to me. So. Lots of people talk about the kind of the family and the togetherness and the mm -hmm. music you do at Arches. Um, what was it that, that kind of made that stand out to you so quickly? Yeah I think that personal touch from Lucy but then also the people so like coming into my first year as an undergrad like some of those teammates are like my bestest friends. Yeah, I think from the moment I began as an undergrad and, and I walked into a team where I just loved the people. Just the people that I had around me in that first and second year of my undergrad um, straight away made me feel as though I had a family away from, away from home. Can you track for us the progression to someone now who might feel a little easier getting going? Yeah, it, it's, that's a really great place to start for me because I say physios and doctors and you know, these were, that was their full-time profession and they played basketball on top of it. So if you meet Ruth, like she's one of the kindest people who would always help anybody out. So it wasn't her job to be our physio. She was a teammate, her occupation seemed, it was just a physio. And, and um, so in terms of the growth we've made over the 20 years, that's why now I think we're in such a fortunate position where we have, as part of Metsport, full-time physio, full-time S&C. So, look, those strides we've made are just amazing and, it, and it's hard sometimes to explain that to students now because they don't know any different. They've come to Cardiff Met and they've got all these performance services whereas you know we didn't have any of that. I remember going on a trip to Lanzarote with Damien and I was probably second or third year and it was the first time I'd lift uh, I'd lifted like a barbell <laughs> so I got a nickname Noodles from that because I actually could barely lift the bar let alone put a 1.25 kg plate on it so you know it's it's changed tremendously and now it's really been professionalized and you know I'm, I'm a full-time head of basketball I never would have dreamed of this so I think the investment and the financial side of things that's been put into the sport is amazing where we sit now with the the university strategy and so the last four or five years have really been amazing to see how we're still on that upward trajectory tell us maybe like a snapshot of the difference in landscape between when you first maybe started playing to now where we've got WBBL and Bucks men are in the Prem. You know? Yeah. What, what, what were the games like then compared to now? Because yeah, that's interesting and I smile because I spent some time looking through photos over the weekend and something as simple as the kit we were wearing when I first started, which we've still got, um, but a basic white kit with a blue strip down the side and, and now looking at WBL and the sponsorship they've got with Kappa and um, and Reebok next year. Um, so that's not talking about obviously the, the standard of play, but to think about like that difference and where we've come from. And I think when I started, you know, we were division two. Um, and, and perhaps this is also where, you know, the, the standard of the WBL is higher. So when we were in division two, you know, we had a great time. We had so much fun together. You know, I always talk about process and winning and we won everything. So if I look to, to my time and when Steph started, when Megan came, Kate Butters came, everyone prior to the Olympics pretty much, you know, we had so many medals and finals and playoffs and cup, um, did a Bucks free pee, like that happened. Um, and we had such a great time. But I think as the league in terms of WBL was raised its standard, caliber of players has increased you know we've struggled um, to stay at that high level um, I think because generally the landscape has improved having said that in Wales you know we've consistently been the top um, and the only women's WBL franchise in the country but there's been some real great talent come through you know Izzy Bunyan, Karis Roy you know you can't um, you don't have to go back too far to see that and that's because of you know some of the clubs that are really investing in women's sport so that's been been great to see and Ponzi Pre Panthers must give a shout out there to them and, and John Bunyan and what he does for women's sport 
So it, it's good that I, th I still feel like there's growth and there's, there's places we can still take it. Um, but I feel like there's a consistent presence of female basketball in Wales. So you go from player, walk us through where you go from there. Yeah, so I think I came in, um, and I'd say I came in as a player and a coach. So from the off, as I said, I wanted to be a teacher. So when I first came here, Lucy kind of nurtured that coaching aspect for me and had me uh, all the opportunity for me to coach her in the junior program. As far back as I can remember, I've been a player and a coach, sometimes player coach, not by kind of title, but because I'm that way inclined on the court. But yeah, just had the opportunity whilst I'm here to dip my feet into different areas and see what I want to do and have so landed as, as head of basketball at the moment and I'm super happy in the role. And I always say thankful for this role because it's very rare in the UK that you have full-time roles in the sport. So feel so privileged and lucky that I am in this position. From a playing capacity, I remember, you know, my undergrad years and and just loving, loving playing and, and uh, Damien giving me most potential kind of award when I was younger. and and had a couple of MVPs in there for the team, for Bucks, and there's been a few accolades, to be honest. I'm not one to shout about them too much, but, you know, being able to say that I was the ninth player to get a thousand points in the WBL, you know, like I, that, that gets forgotten or, um, you know, just some aspects of, yeah, like I say, not, not winning, but, but showing that I can compete at that level. And not that it's about individual accolades, but when I went to play for Wales in Gibraltar for the last competition, I was actually awarded All-Star 5, so it was a huge shock to me. I remember sitting next to Joelle and being like, are they joking? Like, really? Why? And I think it just reminded me that I was really hard on myself or felt as I wasn't quite good enough. And that was just quite a nice moment where I was like, you know, you actually can compete, you can play. So that was pretty special. For your favourite Archie moment, if you can give us one. Box finals. Um, playing against Northumbria, down by at least 13 or 14 or something at half-time. Damien gave an inspirational half-time conversation, like talk, and we thought this game's done, you know, we're not coming back. Gav Williams actually reminded me of the memory, and it was his memory, which was amazing. Um, but Casey set a monster back screen for Steph. Um, we ended up winning the game by one, like it was just epic, and I'll always remember that feeling, and, and Bucks finals was, was pretty special. Um, my favourite times really were 2004 to 2012, you know, and I got a lot of medals to, to show that period of time. It's not all about the winning and it's not about those medals. And an example I've got actually from GB was when they finished top four in the Eurobasket competition. And that experience and what that team did was amazing. They didn't medal, but that, that experience and the exposure it gave the sport and that was what was amazing. And, and even now looking at WBL and looking at WPL and, um, you know, we're not winning in terms of the scoreboard, but we're winning. Like we're winning deep and we're giving so much more to females in Wales to aspire to, um, to young disabled kids to aspire to. And that for me is, is more important than getting a gold medal. But getting gold medals is fun, <laughs> um, but it is bigger than that. My overall favorite, if you were always to pin, I mentioned the All-Star Five. Um, and actually it was just before I went away to Canada in 2017, I think it was. And uh, Sports Awards is a huge event or has been forever. And I remember, early day sports awards and, and having a great time at the event and yeah in 2017 I had the services to student sport and oh my gosh <laughs> it's so crazy I don't know why it makes me cry now yeah it's not about accolades really but that is a moment where you think that's pretty special and you know it's bigger than basketball and it was nice to be recognized for that award Outside of basketball, maybe family, friends, anyone like that, a lot of you have wanted to be able to Yeah, for sure, mum and dad. Like, I'm really happy that my mum um, is going to join us on Saturday night, so she'll be with us. And uh, they've just always been so supportive and a constant. So, yeah, really, really grateful to mum and dad. And then I have the best friends. Like, my friendship group is just unbelievable. I'm just so lucky that I've really built you know, a strong friendship group because of this sport and yeah, to this day they're just amazing and I'm just so lucky that they're, they're there for me. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. It's just so amazing to see so many people from different eras come back together and celebrate 25 years of Archers basketball. Um, have a fantastic evening and we hope to see you at next year's event.